They had the world in the palm of their hands, but they let it fall apart. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Disney stars who ruined their careers. For this list, we'll be looking at various Disney stars from either movies or TV who ruined their careers with reckless, controversial, or just downright illegal behavior. It's also possible for some of these actors to have had a comeback. As long as their careers seem to be down the drain at one point, they are eligible. Number 10. Jake T. Austin Serving as a five-time Young Artist Award nominee, Jake T. Austin is known for his work as Max Russo on Wizards of Waverly Place. Nancy has been my girlfriend for a while. <gasps> He starred alongside Selena Gomez on the show, which came to an end in January 2012. The following year, he was arrested for a DUI after a trooper pulled him over for driving without his headlights on. Just one month later, he crashed into three parked cars, resulting in major damage. Witnesses reported seeing him throw a bottle of vodka out the window and fleeing the scene in an Uber. At the time, he was playing Jesus Foster on The Fosters, but he was replaced with Noah Centineo for season three. Number 9. Adam Hicks From 2009 to 2012, Hicks starred as Luther Waffles in the Disney XD sitcom Zeke and Luther. Exactly. So there's absolutely no food in the car. It, except for turkey jerky, of course. Oh, well then I gotta have my cheese squiggles and ranch-flavored dipping sauce, yeah? Okay. The series followed Luther and his best friend Zeke as they attempted to become world-famous skateboarders. Prior to the show's conclusion, Hicks starred as Wen Gifford in the Disney Channel movie Lemonade Mouth. But after starring in the third season of Pair of Kings, Hicks's life came crashing down. In 2018, he was arrested in connection with a string of street robberies alongside his girlfriend, Danny Tamburo. Our SWAT team served the warrant yesterday afternoon at about 1.15. Uh, the suspects were uh, detained outside the residence uh, without incident. They allegedly held a gun to older citizens, demanded their wallets, and were both charged with three counts of felony attempted second degree robbery. He probably won't be returning to Disney anytime soon. Number 8. Stoney Westmoreland Despite acting regularly since 1996, Westmoreland didn't become a feature on the Disney Channel until 2017. I've been taking classes! I, I thought you were... I thought you were taking some kind of cardio! It's then that he began playing Ham Mac on Andy Mac, which ran from April 2017 to July 2019. Westmoreland didn't make it to the finale, as he had been arrested and fired from the show. 48-year-old Stoney Westmoreland, who plays Andy Mack's grandfather on the series, is accused of using a dating app to chat with someone he thought was a 13-year-old boy. In December 2018, Westmoreland was caught attempting to solicit sex from a 13-year-old boy through Grindr. He had also sent explicit photos to the boy and openly admitted knowing that he was just 13 years old through the dating app. However, the young boy was actually an undercover police officer, and Westmoreland was charged with six felony counts, including attempted exploitation of a minor. Number 7. Bella Thorne Thorne rose to prominence in late 2010 playing Cece Jones alongside Zendaya in the Disney sitcom Shake It Up. Come on, people! Yesterday, there was a guy here with a psychic cat. His name was Mittens. And even I gave him a dollar. Whereas Zendaya has kept a tight relationship with Disney through Marvel, Thorne has gone in the complete opposite direction. Thorne has adopted a bad girl image and has been hit with numerous controversies. She's been accused of making racist comments and copying beauty brands, and she claims that her famous and loved network Freeform deemed her uncontrollable and crazy. She also willingly posted nudes online to beat a hacker, a move that some people saw as inappropriate, especially considering her younger demographic. In 2019, Thorne directed an adult film for Pornhub titled Her and Him, which is about as far from Disney as you can possibly get. Number 6. Jake Paul One could make an argument that Jake Paul's career is thriving, but he certainly burned the bridges connecting him to a more traditional television career. What did he say? I don't trust him! <laughs> Paul became quite popular through Vine, but rose to mainstream prominence on the Disney Channel's Bizarre Vark. It was so hard for both of us to make everything work. However, Paul was fired from the show due to his reckless public behavior, behavior that he has carried over to his infamous YouTube channel. What do you say to the neighbors though that are upset? That they're uh, really no, upset. No, I, I honestly- If you can't beat yeah. them, join them. No, I'm honestly, yeah, yeah it's I terrible. Feel. It's a bad situation. No, I feel bad for them. While his videos still rack up millions of views, Paul has become arguably the most controversial celebrity on the site, owing to his problematic actions and numerous scams. 
In June 2020, Paul was charged with criminal trespassing for being inside a looted mall during a riot. Paul said he was documenting the looting as a, quote, public service. Number 5. Mitchell Musso Musso was one of the biggest Disney stars of his generation. You guys think I can't eat this stuff because I have diabetes? Well, yeah. I mean, I think so. He appeared in the Disney Channel movie Life is Rough in 2005, before starring in the likes of Hannah Montana, Phineas and Ferb, and Pair of Kings. But I won't turn my back on you. Well, that's too bad, because I was tired of looking at your face. Ooh, evil zinger. However, everything crumbled in October 2011, when Musso was pulled over and charged under a DUI suspicion. The incident proved highly controversial. Musso was promptly fired and written out of Pair of Kings, and his prank show Prank Stars was cancelled. However, he continued to voice Jeremy Johnson on Phineas and Ferb and appeared in several episodes of Milo Murphy's Law. Musso's career is not entirely over, but it has certainly been affected. Number 4. Lilane Hi, I'm Lilane from Liz McGuire. <laughs> You're watching Disney Channel. From 2001 to 2004, Lilane portrayed Lizzie's best friend Miranda Sanchez on the iconic Lizzie McGuire. In 2002, Lilane won a Young Artist Award for Best Supporting Young Actress for her work in the show. Hers looked like a very promising career, until it wasn't. In July 2007, Lilane was caught with methamphetamine and charged with felony possession. She pled guilty and entered a plea deal that saw her charges expunged if she attended rehab. And while she completed a stint at a facility in Long Beach and avoided prosecution, her career, both music and TV, was effectively over. Did you hear that Brandon ran away from home? Since then, she's appeared in some web series, a movie called Royal Kill, and cameoed in Easy A. Number 3. Orlando Brown Brown was a prolific child actor throughout the late 90s and early 2000s. Having starred in the likes of Family Matters, Max Keeble's Big Move, and Disney's That's So Raven, where he played Eddie Thomas. He also voiced characters in the Disney animated shows The Proud Family and Fillmore. Yo, Penny, you better check your girls. The girl sisters are straight tripping. What are you talking about, Sticky? Unfortunately, Brown fell on some very hard times. He's been involved in numerous legal issues, including instances of domestic battery and drug possession charges. Do you still speak to Raven? Of course. Mm -hmm. Of course. I haven't seen her uh, too much lately, but... Um, What's your relationship like with her now? Right now, um, it's pretty pretty good. I want to I wanted to marry her, but I gotta find out a way to to ask her. He's also broken into his friend's Las Vegas restaurant, claimed that Nick Cannon performed acts on him while dressed as a woman, and declared that he was Michael Jackson's son on Dr. Phil. He's financially in shambles. Mm -hmm. His living arrangements is in shambles. His whole life is in shambles right now. Number two, Shia LaBeouf. LaBeouf is very well known for his movie work, but his career began on the Disney Channel playing Louis Stevens on Even Stevens. You know what your problem is? You don't understand women. And you do. What's up? I know girls look past what's on the outside. The show ran from 2000 to 2003, and LaBeouf picked up an Emmy Award for Outstanding Performer in a Children's Series for his work. However, LaBeouf later faced numerous controversies as he descended into alcoholism, including plagiarism, disorderly conduct, public drunkenness, and profane tirades in the 2010s. Luckily, LaBeouf entered rehab and therapy, where he was diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder. His career is certainly not what it once was, but he still earned critical acclaim for his work in 2019 with The Peanut Butter Falcon and writing the autobiographical Honey Boy. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Lindsay Lohan I had pictured this moment in my craziest, wildest dreams. Lohan has suffered a truly tragic fall from grace. My hair! It's gone! And wh what is this? What have you done to my Mom, ear? Mom, it's an earring. Take it out. She was basically a certified Disney princess back in the late 90s and early 2000s, starring in movies like The Parent Trap, Freaky Friday, and Confessions of a Teenage Drama Queen. Not to mention the persistently popular Mean Girls, though that wasn't made by Disney. However, everything fell apart around 2006 when Lohan spiraled into addiction and legal issues. She lost roles, attended rehab, and faced numerous newsworthy arrests. Lohan attempted various comebacks throughout the years, but nothing really stuck. 
It wasn't until the late 2010s that a semblance of a career began again. As Lohan starred in the British black comedy TV program Sick Note and served as a judge on The Masked Singer Australia. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.